Hello everybody, my name is Kyrotech and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to summon Herobrine in Minecraft version 1.16.1. .1. Now this is up to date and is working in 2020, so if you're trying this, this should work. Also, I'm sorry if I'm talking a bit quietly, it's currently 3am, which is one of the variables that you need to be doing to be able to summon Herobrine. But before the video starts, if you could consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. As you can see here, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed, so if you could consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alright, so starting off, you're going to want to be in the desert biome, because this is the biome that you need to be in to summon here, Brian. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a nice flat area, preferably something that looks a bit like this. And it especially helps if you're near a little lake of lava. Lava increases the chances of them actually spawning in your world. Just clear out any of the excess things that may be in the way of spawning here, Brian, and then you should be good to start building the summoner. The items you'll need to summon here, Brian, will be a gold block, polished blackstone bricks, polished blackstone brick stairs, polished blackstone brick slabs, gilded blackstone, a soul campfire, soul soil, soul torches, flint and steel, netherrack, and a block of netherite. Starting off, you're going to want to make a 9x9 nine nine hole inside of the desert. Once you have this hole, you're going to want to fill it in with soul soil. The next thing you're going to want to do once you got that all filled in is start placing down your blackstone. You're going to want to find the center and place a polished blackstone brick there to remember where the center of the build is. Then go one block out from the center and place down some stairs and do that for every single side. Next up, you're going to want to place stairs on the back of those stairs that you just placed down. Following that up, you're going to want to place polished blackstone bricks as so, and place stairs on those polished blackstone bricks. The last thing that you'll want to do for the base of the build is to place down some slabs as seen here. This is basically what the base of the build should look like when you're finished. Next up, you're going to want to place some more stairs on top of the stairs that you've already placed down, although these ones will be a bit different. You'll want to place polished blackstone bricks three high on each of the sides. Then you'll want to place stairs at the top of those three high pillars. In the centers of those, you want to place gilded blackstone as seen here. To wrap this step up, you'll want to place blackstone bricks as seen here. Now it is fairly expensive to summon here, Brian, so you might want to do this in creative mode. In survival mode, you'll be wasting quite a bit of your resources, but it is worth it. Now, we'll move on to some of the more complicated structures of the build. Starting off, you'll want to get that block of netherite that we were talking about. First, you're going to want to place one, and make sure this is exact. Here's the bottom, here's the soul sand. You'll want to go one, two, three, four, and then place the block of netherite. I guess you could say that it's at the top of where it is now. Basically, what this does is this increases the power of the structure. This focuses the energy, since it's such a rare block, through the center to help power the machine. What you'll want to do next to start the preparation phase is to place four soul sand campfires, as seen here. Next up, you'll want to place four soul torches, as seen here. Now, we'll start building the top of the machine. You'll want to place blackstone bricks going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks on each side surrounding the center. Then, with stairs, I'll need you to repeat that pattern from earlier, except like this. As you can see, it is becoming night, but that's part of this. Then, you want to place two blocks of gold on each side. Again, this helps channel the energy. Right here, you'll want to alternate slabs every single block. Like so. Once you're through with that, we're approaching the final step. Grab a beacon out of your creative inventory, or craft a beacon if you're in survival mode. 
Go down to the netherite block and place blackstone going all the way up to the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a suitable area for the netherite blocks to be placed. You'll want to go one, two, three, one, two, and then make that into a three by three. Then you want to place three blocks on every single side of what you just created. Then you want to place stairs again on every single side of what you've created and also connect them as so make sure that they connect and again like i mentioned earlier it is currently 3 a.m in my time which is very important to summoning here Ryan. now what i'll need you to do is i'll need you to place blackstone bricks as shown here and make sure it is exactly as i am showing here and then place slabs in between those bricks Now what I'll need you to do is place soul torches in each of the bricks that you placed in. Finally, I'll need you to, I'll need you to hollow out this part, this inner 3x3 three three of the uppermost part, and replace that with netherite blocks. Then, place down a beacon in the center. As you can see, the structure is nearing its completion, and lots of hostile mobs are spawning in. The reason that you need the netherrack is for the last additional touches. You want to make little fires on each of the important parts of the structure, as shown here. And do not break the sand. That was a mistake. As you can see, the structure is now complete and we are ready to summon Herobrine. The last thing that you'll need is a netherite sword with these exact enchantments. Bane of Arthropods 5. Fire Aspect 2. And I'm breaking 3. Now, you're finally ready to summon Herobrine. Go over to the structure and tap on every one of the gilded black stones with your sword. Now, pace 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks back, and look at the structure. By this point, here Brian should be summoned into your world. It's only a matter of time before he finds you, and when he does... <laughs>